Here's the lineup the manager will send out. Taking the mound to start the game, Phil Negro. Here's the game's first batter, Devon White. The pitch. And the game is underway. You won't hear any complaining today about the state of the playing field. It is awesome. Slider breaks away, missing for a ball. This pitcher can have trouble finding that strike zone, which leads to lots of walks. Fastball for a strike. He delivers. Knuckler strike on the outside edge. Hit to the right side. That's out number one. Next at the plate, Edgar Renteria. This is a hitter who's consistently average in the box. He's got a four-seamer, a pretty good knuckleball, and an average slider. Brown ball hit down the left side. Two down. Next up, Gary Sheffield. It's hit out to left. Securing our next home stand. Guy, this pitcher's a little wild at times. We'll really issue more walks than we'd like to. A three pitch strikeout. Here's the batting order the manager has filled out. Starting on the hill for the visiting team, Kevin Brown. Up next, Rafael Ramirez. Ground ball to the shortstop. That's the first out. Stepping in, Glenn Hubbard. Brown misses, and the count is 1-0. and He's on with a one-out single. That's a hang slaughter. He'd love to have a chance to throw that bad boy again. The next batter is Dale Murphy. Fastball for a strike. This right-hander usually relies on two pitches when he needs to throw strikes. He delivers. Swinging. Partner, he gets ahead of him and never looks back. Sweet strikeout. Next up to play is Bob Horner. Runner on first with two outs. He gets it over for a strike. He throws a good four seed fastball, a decent slider, and a middle of the road curveball. Guy does not have a real live fastball. Over to first. He sends this pitch towards second base. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. Next up, Moises Alou. He got under it and popped it up. He's got it. Bolvia up next. Negro misses 1 0. This right handed pitcher has one pitch which is better than all the others. He comes up a little bit short. Safe on the play. 
The official score charged him with an error. They got to keep that to a base hit. Because of the error, there's a man in score position now. Up next, Jeff Conine. Here's a guy who really doesn't hit righties well. He barely got wood on that pitch. Hit to left field. Burroughs makes the catch for the out. Nothing special about that one. He just picked up the ball, got a beat on it, made the play. This right-handed hitter has truly a needy swing. We'll be seeing the batter rounding third hard on a hit to left field. He does not have a strong arm after. Pitch misses. This right-hander can get a little wild at times, and he will walk batters. Ball. Misses for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Johnson grounds it to the shortstop. Out number three, side retired. Heading into the... Stepping in, Gary Matthews. This guy's pretty successful against right-handed pitching. Good start to the inning. A leadoff single. The next batter is Chris Chantless. Brown delivers a fastball out of the zone. This guy has four pick pickoff play. He painted the black with that one. And the pitch. Ball. Misses for a ball. The defense would be wise right here to move into double play depth. He's trying to chase it down and left. It's a single. Nothing spectacular there. Just a good old-fashioned base hit to get things going. That is a bad-looking swing right there, big boy. On the ground, he'll pick it up on a roll. There's an out. Now there's a great example of the defense picking you up. They turned a sweet double play right there. Bennett steps in at the plate. This righty is not an exceptional contact hitter. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. The batter couldn't check his swing. Swing and a high fly ball to left field. The side is retired with one runner stranded. After two, no score here. Leading off the inning, Craig Council. This left-hander just hits the ball hard, and he hits it hard all the time. Walks come in bunches for this right-hander due to suspect control on some of his pitches. He turns on it and hits a fly ball to right. He reaches with a leadoff single. He started this inning off in fine fashion. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up. And he pushes that bunt down the line. One out. That was a pretty good bump. The pitcher got off the bat in good shape to throw him out. Next at the plate, Devon White. Swings and lifts one to right. He makes the play. He picked that ball up right off the bat and camped under it for an easy out. Renteria strolls to the plate. Just missed. Out of the zone, that's a ball. He wanted the hitter to chase that slider right out of the zone. He sends this pitch towards second base. And he's out! After two and a half, the game is scoreless. 
Next up, Phil Micro. Right, his first pitch is usually a strike, and he'll follow that with strike two, and hey, oftentimes he'll do strike three as well. They make the play. Up next, Rafael Ramirez. Strike called at the belt. This pitcher rings up K's with great frequency every time he toes the rubber. His location was perfect for that slider, broke right in the corner. Misses for a ball. Brown sends him down on strikes. Kai, he put that pitch right there. You could not ask for a better strikeout pitch. Stepping in, Glenn Hubbard. Strike one. Pitcher tried to get the batter to go fishing, and he did, but came up empty. A three-pitch strikeout. After three innings, no score here. Today's game is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. And a strike. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Sheffield strikes out swinging. Alou comes to the plate. Taken for a ball. Well, it's just a bad pitch. A break a ball way off the catcher's target. The hitter had an easy take there. He sends a tailing line drive out to center field. He reaches with a single. Stepping in with a double already, Bobby Bolvia. Pitch taken for a ball. Right now, the defense should be thinking, too. The pitcher can really help out by throwing something low in the strike zone. And the count is two and one. It's hit out towards short. The catch is made. The next batter is Jeff Conan. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Two outs and one on. Two ball, one strike count. I like to see a hit run in a situation like this. The pitcher's behind the count, so we have... There goes the runner! Safe with the stolen base. The runner got a great jump at first base and stole it easily. He rolls one over towards third. That's the third out with one runner stranded in scoring position. After three and a half, the game is scoreless. Next set to play, Dale Murphy. Liner right at the first baseman. Kai, this quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. Next up, Bob Horner. Ball low. He's on with a single. Up next, Gary Matthews. They've set that defense at double play depth. If you can get a ground ball right here, they might get two. One ball, one strike. Liner right at the shortstop. 
stepping in, Chris Chantless. Pitch misses for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Low for a ball. Hit towards the shortstop. That's the third out with one man left aboard. After four innings, no score here. The next batter is Charles Johnson. Ball. Taken for a ball. That's a purpose pitch. Knuckleball just off the strike zone, hoping the batter would chase one. Hit towards the shortstop. One out. He has one hit in the game. A liner. That's another base hit. Hey, what the fuck? He tries to push bunt. That's out number two. When you lay down a sacrifice bunt, you are supposed to catch the ball with the bat. Well, that's exactly what he did there. Next up, Devon White. Get to the left side. He turned. He came up with it. Will he ever help his team out with that? Going into the bottom of the fifth, the game is scoreless. Up next, Jeff Burrows. Hit deep to center. Oh, what a catch. That was not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. Bennett steps into the batter's box. A ball. Pitch missed inside. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Hit to the right side. Got him. Stepping in, Phil Mikro. As a pitcher, you never want to surrender a hit to your counterpart. The pitch is hit to left field. The side is retired in order. After five innings, this contest is tied. For more on MVP Baseball, log on to easports.com. EA Sports, it's in the game. He swung through the pitch. This past season, he had 277 with four long balls and 52 runs batted in. Hubbard flags it down. That's one heck of a catch. What a tough play. The next batter is Gary Sheffield. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. That's crushed. It's off the wall. He's rounding first. A double. Batters at this level will turn mis-executed pitches into hits all the time. Next at the plate, Moises Alou. Look for the base runner to challenge on a ball hit to left field. His oh. arm is not that strong. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He jacked that one way back and gone. Hey, Kipe, there are not too many ballparks who would have held that one. Stepping in, one for two, Bobby Bolia. 
on the ground. He's on first with a base hit. Next up, Jeff Conan. It's hit out towards short. The runner tries to bust it up. The runner was on the second baseman like a freight train. He kept his concentration and still got the runner at first. It looks like he may have been injured on the play. Let's hope it's not too serious. Up next, Rafael Ramirez. Line sharply and through, a base hit. Good start to the inning, a leadoff single. Got a good pitch to hit right there, and he put it in the outfield for a single. Takes a pitch high. That's a push bunt. What a win. He couldn't ask for a better bunt. Good job. Stepping in, Bill Murphy. Yank to the left side. Two outs. Well, not the best throw I've ever seen, partner, but they were able to record the out. The next batter is Bob Horner. Curveball is up for a ball. They're going to have to do something out there. Some of these pitches ain't even close. Ground ball hit the other way to the right side. A run scores. That's an RBI double. That's a nice at bat right there. He got that run home and he ended up in scoring position himself. Next at the plate, Gary Matthews. The count's 1-0. This past season, he had 278 with 19 long balls and 75 RBIs. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. That one just missed. Three balls, one strike. He takes the walk. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. Next up, Chris Champlis. High slider. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Pitch misses. Out of the zone, that's a ball. And the walk puts runners on every base. Up next, Jeff Burroughs. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. and On the ground, gathers it in with his glove. That'll do it for the inning. With three innings left to play, the Marlins lead by one run. Johnson comes to the plate. I don't think he has his best stuff out there on the mound. Man. Ground ball to the right side. They got him! The corners are close to the lines. Stepping in, Frank Council. Down low for a ball. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Turns on it and hits it on a line. He reaches with a single. What a good at bat right there. And he knew what he was looking for, got it, and executed on it. And here's the delivery. There's a push bunt. That one sailed on him. That's ruled another error. 
Okay, this is poor fundamentals that allowed that runner to reach second base. No way he should have had a double. The next batter is Devon White. This switch hitter prefers to hit left-handed over right. Don't try to do too much here. Just try to lock one into the outfield. Miss low. Ground ball pulled to the right side. The Braves have called down to the pen to get a right-hander warming up. Deep fly ball to center field. He's got it for the out. The runner crosses the plate on the sacrifice fly. To me, that's a successful at bat. That's a batter. Anytime you can drive in a run, you've done your job. Next at the plate, Edgar Renteria. A run crosses the plate. That's an RBI single. Kai, he was able to get good wood on that and hammer it right through the infield for a base hit. To the plate with a double on the game, Gary Sheffield. Line shot. He's around second. Sends it to the cutoff man. And the run comes home. The key to that play was the runner moving in the scoring position. Next up, Moises Alou. 1-0 the count. It's hit out to left. And it's caught on the run. That was not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. All right, everybody. Up on their feet. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Yeah, I could use a bit of a break. Up next, Bruce Bennett. Pitch in tight for a ball. He hits a roller to the left side. One out. The Braves have some activity down in their pen. Pitch taken for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind, but so far the batters are taking these pitches. Brown delivers the 1-1 pitch. Hit towards the shortstop. And he makes the catch. Well, right there we saw he's considered an elite fielder. Great catch. Stepping in one for three, Rafael Ramirez. the middle that's another base hit stepping in one for two Glenn Hubbard hit to the right side that'll end the inning with a runner stranded on first after seven, the Braves trail by four. The Braves turn it over to the pen. They've brought in the lefty, Larry Radford. The fielder is retreating. It's short. He's on his way to second. Abbott is into second with a double. That ball didn't carry as much as I thought it would and just fell short of a home run. Stepping in, Jeff Conan. They'll be waving that runner home if the ball's hit the left field. He does not have one of the better arms in the league. He throws it away.
and a run scores. That'll be ruled another error. The Marlins have activated the bullpen. The next batter is Charles Johnson. Takes the first pitch high. The infielders have to be thinking, ground ball the left side, look the runner back on to first. Ground ball the right side, just go to first. Next at the plate, Craig Council. That runner on second is going to be going on anything hit on the ground of the right side. In that situation, the fielders need to get the sure out at first. It's hit to the left side. He throws it away. That one was misplayed and ruled an error. Okay, this is poor fundamentals that allowed that runner to reach second base. No way he should have had a double. Brown is the next hitter. Kyle, all the hitters got to do in this situation is look for a ball up and drive it to the outfield. Swung through that ball, down. A three-pitch strikeout. Three pitches, three strikes. Doesn't get easier in that partner. White is next. Hit to center field. And the side is retired with runners left standing on second and third. Going into the bottom of the eighth, the Marlins lead by five. Next up, Bill Murphy. Pitch misses for a ball. Pitch taken for a ball. Pitch misses. Sometimes you try to make the hitter change your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He puts the first runner on with a walk. Nothing positive comes out of this guy nibbling. He's falling behind, he's falling behind, he finally walks the guy. Up next, Bob Horner. Taken for a ball. Slider away. Hit towards second base. He goes hard into second base. That's the third double play of the game for Atlanta. That pitcher really needed that defensive play behind him. He got the double play. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Gary Matthews. That one's out to left. He's in there with a two-out single. Stepping in, Chris Chambliss. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Oh. Takes a tailing fastball. Oh. On the ground. There's a base hit. Good play to move that runner to score position. The next batter is Jeff Burroughs. He makes a tremendous grab for the out. What a play, Kai. Great fielder. With one inning left to play, the score is 6-1. to one. Stepping in one for four, Edgar Renteria. Hit to left field, Burroughs should have no problem. Makes the catch to record the out. Next at the plate, Gary Sheffield. He delivers. He pulls a ground ball to the left side. Got him. Next up, Moises Alou. Is in there for a strike, and it's 0-1. Here's the pitch. Ball. Takes low. Ball. 
takes low. Gathers it in with his glove. One, two, three, and the inning is over. Going into the bottom of the ninth, the score is six to one. The Braves will send up a pinch hitter. Taken for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. That one is driven deep to center. That's a great running catch. It's a great example of how good this guy is in the field. He can really go get it. Up next, Mike Plum. There's a line drive. He's headed to second. Two base hit. Good hitting right there. He didn't try and do too much with it. He just went the other way. The Marlins are warming some relievers in the bullpen. The Marlins bring in a new pitcher. Here's the relief pitcher, Jay Powell. Stepping in, Rafael Ramirez. Swing and a miss. The infielders have to be thinking. Ground ball to the left side. Look the runner back on the first. Ground ball to the right side. Just go to first. One ball, two strikes. Hit towards the shortstop. Renteria makes the grab for the out. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Glenn Hubbard. That was by him before he swung. Great pitch in the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through it. One ball, one strike. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. It's hit out towards short. This one is over. Brown is the winner. Negro is the loser. The Florida Marlins win it by five.